Hey everybody, Jax here with another UDK tutorial and uh, today I'm going to be introducing a uh, UDK series of about nine videos I'm going to be making on how to make a level and the general level design processes I go through to make a level. Now, I want to make it clear though that I'm not going to be doing a lot of in-depth uh, work with say like Cascade or anything like that or the material editor I probably I, I might go into that a little bit but most of it's going to be pretty simple and uh, a lot of it somewhat self-explanatory but it's necessary and I hope you guys will find it very useful because it took me a while to really figure out what you needed to do to make a really good map from start to finish and have everything 100% complete and not just set it aside uh, like some of my other projects. Now today the first tutorial I'm going to go over is what I do in the beginning before before I do anything in the editor I do this stuff. So the first thing you have to do is you got to think up of uh, an idea like what, what do you want to make? Do you want to make a spaceship level? Do you want to make a scorched planet? Do you, I don't know anything really just you come up with an idea and I that's exactly what I did and here, here's what I got I, I came up with an idea for a dried up drainage canal and this is part of what you gotta do next. You gotta collect some uh, reference images for uh, a few things. You gotta come up with reference images for lighting, the actual scenery, like and the, what you actually want in the game, and also, of course, um, some visual style, like what time of day you're gonna do it, and um, kind of what it's gonna look like at that time of day. So, here are my reference photos. There's one. The reason why I picked this one was for the foliage on the side. I kind of want to add some foliage. I, I grabbed a, I grabbed this one just to see what kind of foliage uh, would most likely be growing on the side of these canals. And this one I picked for the, uh, the width of the canal and also the, uh, the general background. That's kind of not exactly what I'm shooting for, but there's going to be some little bit of a burning city background towards the end. This one I grabbed because it's most like what I'm going to have in the results. I'm going to have uh, this canal going down, but it's going to be quite a bit wider. And I have these pipes in there connecting the two sides of this bridge. That's really what I'm going to be doing. I also use this one for the lighting, so I'm getting a lot from this particular photo. This next one is kind of, uh, I don't even know why I picked this one. I was, maybe I was thinking about adding a tunnel or something. But I don't know that I'm going to use that one. This one, I thought I might use the uh, bluish tone, but I don't think I will. See, this is why you, why you have to get all these reference photos. It, it starts getting ideas flowing for your actual map. This is what I drew out real fast. And see, you, that's the next step, is you have to you have to draw out your map, at least in a top-down view. What I got going on here is just a bridge right in here. Those are These two things are the pipes. And here's the canal. And what I wanted to do was set up a little bit of a, um, some blockages to try and slow down the flow of water um, as a bit of a prehistory to it. And that's the goal. That's where you want to get is this little door. And that, that's my top-down view. Now, the next thing you really have to do is you got to figure out, okay, so... What is it going to be for game type? And you know this can be actually done first, really. Um, 
It can be done first or second, depending on how you like it. But you got to think of the game type. Am I doing a single player level? Am I doing a multiplayer level? Um, what's the flow going to be like? Do you want it fast paced? Do you want it kind of slow paced? Uh, dilly dallying, kind of picking off people in one spot, holding off waves of enemies. Where do you want the the player to keep on moving uh, through the level? That's that's pretty important. You got to figure it out very early uh, to get your scene going in the right direction. The next thing you really have to do is you have to figure out the story to your map and what what happened to it before your character got there. And this part is very, very important in that it gives you motivation to create what it should be, if that makes sense. So what I came up with my story for my uh, dried up canal is uh, it takes place during the summer months when it's all dried up and some walls have been set up to slow down the rising waters of last winter. The world now crumbles and no one can care for the place, so no longer, uh, well, the part of the flooding that happened is why the world has ended, and no one can care for it anymore. So a lot of vegetation is popping up, it's pretty green, in there, but it's at the same time, it's a pretty dry place because it's during the summer. And that's just a little bit of backstory that you can do just to make sure you have the uh, motivation there for your scene and, and so everything comes out being very co coherent, not just kind of jumbled mess of different materials that don't really make sense. The next thing you really have to think of which is also goes along with game type is um, the gameplay. Is it going to be tight cover to cover, fast paced movement kind of thing, or are you going to be hanging back trying to hold up against a whole force of enemies, or are you going to try and stealth your way through it? And see, those are very important things to consider when you're making your map because you have to include whatever you're trying to. Uh, incorporate and if you don't then you're going to notice well my environment looks great but the gameplay doesn't work for what I'm trying to do so that's very important keep an eye on that and uh, make sure you go through each of these steps and the next thing you have to do is you have to consider the visuals what um, what time of day are you going to do it at what kind of graphics are you going to go for? Do you want to do a tune shader where it's cartoony like Borderlands or do you want to go with super awesome graphics like I don't know Battlefield 3 with a bunch of lens flares and uh, just a buttload of anti-aliasing and ambient occlusion with uh, some other visual effects to increase the graphics or maybe you're going to go with something a little bit uh, simpler like I don't know, uh, Quantum Conundrum where it's a little bit more basic graphics not tuned but basic those are some things that you have to consider because it can alter everything you do and so what I'm going for with the gameplay is a tight cover to cover movements like from here to here to here up all the way up until you get a door and you gotta keep on pushing the enemies back to get up to that door and there's gonna be enemies up along here and here and this is all hypothetical I'm not gonna actually include enemies because that is a whole different tutorial but um, I might I might do that some other time and as it goes for the visuals mine is gonna take place near the sun near sunset like in this and I'm going to add uh, depth of field and bloom. Um, I'm going to try and add a lens flare. I haven't had a lot of success with lens flares. Uh, they've been a little stubborn with me. Uh, I don't know if it's the build with UDK I have or not, but I might try it out. I'm also going to have a 
post-process effect with anti-aliasing and ambient occlusion and I'm also going to have a custom made uh, material effect that I made a while back and I'll go ahead and show you guys it's really awesome it's a mix between all kinds of different things including uh, anti-aliasing, ambient occlusion, um, and the sharpen effect which um, gets rid of a lot of the blur that you see in uh, textures and models it really sharpens everything up it, I, I think it looks really good so that's what I'm going for in mine and I believe that will wrap up this first tutorial and that was just an introduction and I hope to get my uh, break open UDK and get some level designing in uh, pretty quick so see you guys in the next tutorial